And welcome back, Gamer Nation. SKS here with another episode of Alaskan Storm. No, I'm totally saying it backwards. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Deadliest Catch Alaskan Storm. Last time we left off, Josh had the shocked face. What? So, I really don't know who's got hurt, but I'm going to take bets. If I was a betting man, I'd put 500 bucks on Kel breaking another finger. So let's see what happened. Obviously, I can't do anything right now. This is going to take Tico off the floor. Somebody's walking. Let's see. Was it Tico? The Tico? Nope, nope. Looks like... Oh, it is Kale! It looks like... I think. Kale had the yellow jacket on, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out here in a minute. Because their panels will turn. Okay, good job. Good job. So we got three men on the deck, so we'll have to find out. He's fine. He's just a big baby. Oh, so Edgar, our new crew de boss, <laughs> Edgar just threw out his back, his back out of place. It's no big deal. Just give him three hours rest and he'll be fine. All right, we can deal with that. Man, this is <laughs> this is not a good job for the crew bosses. I mean, you know, our deck boss. Excuse me. Deck boss woes indeed. Wow. Oh well. Let's keep going, gentlemen and woman. Looks like the sun's starting to come up. See, does that that does not look like seven hundred and something crab? If that's how many is in it. No, just six. Okay. You must know something we don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know, guys. I know. It's okay. Pilot the boat over here again. Go ahead and shut the motor off so that maybe we'll come to a stop. We're probably not because we're going way too fast 2.7 knots. How many more we got out here in this spot? Okay, so I like how it's letting us finally take these off the board. So I guess it's showing where you should have put them. So it looks like we only got like one more out here. Two more. So. Alright, let's do this. Okay. I'll stop. Oh man, he's just already going after it. Who we got throwing there? Looks like Kale. Kale, can you throw that hook with two broke fingers? Oh, it looks like he can. I'm impressed, Kale. You got some bonus points. I'm telling you, next time I might just hire Tico as the freaking. Hey, the boss. What do you want, boss? I like him too. He's like, hey, it's the boss. Feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. See, I like Tico. Tico's cool. I mean, you know, he's got some six percent. Yeah, I might make Tico the. Uh, I might make Tico the uh, deck boss. I don't know. Do I want to curse him with that? I don't know. This one looks kind of fool. Let's check out this beautiful sunrise here. Is that the sun? No, that's the moon. Looks like the sun's going to be coming up here, unless it's already up in the sky. There's no way. So it's already on the water, but it's not even above the horizon yet. This is the moon setting here. There's the sun getting ready to come up there. So, okay. Okay, so. We've got lots of rays, but no sun. You must know something. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Go big or go home. There you go, Roxanne. Her vagina is probably stretched out to the point where she could parachute out of a plane with it. Just saying. Alright, we need to bring the boat over some more. So let's push it to the right. And probably kill the motor again. Or the starboard side. I, I should learn my terminology. And then we need to bring it to the starboard. See, I'm looking for the sun. It's got this big glow, but it's not even coming up yet. The moon's disappearing. Let's see, can he make the throw? Can Kale do it? Can he do it? Oh my god, I am I am impressed. Alright, so right now we're going to head over here. We can actually speed up a little to head that way. Oh, there's the sun. I start seeing it peeking its head over. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Gamers, I'm glad we could share this moment. 
a nice beautiful sunrise on January 8th a beautiful Tuesday is at its beginnings there was a moment in my life where I'd wake up on New Year's Day and watch the first sunrise or I'd stay up ev all night and watch the first sunrise it was pretty awesome Cha ching baby yeah he said, woo, not yeah. Or he said, yeah, not woo. What was he, Ric Flair? Woo, styling and profiling across the boat. Yep, here's a nice view of my crew on the Francis Drake working. And this beautiful sun coming up. Awesome. All right, so let's, can we, yeah, we can remove these plots now. And we can head over here, and should be able we should be able to let people have a little nap. I mean, I can see the beacon, so it won't be a long nap, but you know. So it looks like everybody's. So evidently, Kel was like, "I've been throwing the hook. I don't want to do this." Because I think with all these right through here. We should be able to get those all and dump them back. And if not, we can just, you know, if it gives me a warning the season's almost over, I can just start picking them up. All right, guys, go get you some rest real quick. So, all right, so let's take away a lot of their rest time by doing this. And fast time. Might have a problem here. Oh God! The engine has blown a fuse ho fuel hose. We'll lose some power until it's fixed. It's also a bad fire hazard. That's gonna make. Ah, oh, well, repair it. Let's get her done. You get her done. Get everything done. Game on. Edgar's healed. And now we're everything's good. So sweet. All right. Oh my God! How do we pass one? Alright, well, I'm going to back her up. This one's just off from all the other ones. But, it's not even on the map. Is this somebody else's? Yeah, this is somebody else's, because look, there's two right here. What am I doing? I don't want this. We need to get on track to get mine. So yeah, somebody's sitting here fishing on my... You know, but can you really even tell? There is no insignia saying, hey, that's not yours. Except on this radar. Where we can tell it's not ours. That is crazy. Kudos to the game makers for that. Alright, let's get on this. I just had the best dream ever, but I forgot what it was about. Kiko, brother, you gotta be remembering those dreams. I need to know this shit. All right, so let's uh, shoot on over here, and uh, hopefully, how long have these been soaking? Forty-four hours. So they should be like the other ones. I'm expecting like nine hundred in them. All right. So we're going to keep pushing this way. Because I don't think we're close enough to get it yet. And hopefully that will get us in line to actually do these other ones. Alright, so we're going to let Kel throw it, it looks like. Maybe Edgar. Let's see if he's going to get it. Damn, son. Proud of you. Good haul. Good haul. Alright, so everything's going now. We can slowly accelerate. Our hull is almost at 80% full, so that's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome indeed. So let's see what we got here. Let's go to the camera. Oh man, that looks full. That looks loaded. How loaded is it, Roxanne? Like your ass last night when Tiku got a hold of it? Oh! Let's see what we got. 660? Well, I expected more than that. There's some serious money in there. Tico's excited about it. So, whatever.
As long as Tico's happy, I'm happy. Alright, so let's. That should be good enough right there. We still need to push over some. Yeah, I can't believe they dropped pots right there by us, but I guess that's a realistic aspect of the game. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed, gamers. here and get this one. Because I don't think we're close enough to get it. Our boat's in a funky position. We need to turn like slightly left, but we're not even... That's what it's trying to do if you look down here. It's turning to the left, but... Oh, good toss. Good toss. That is Edgar throwing. I could tell. He's got his little goatee going on and everything. Good job, guys. I want to know what this is. Makes me worry. What is in? Oh, it looks like there's something in there. That's a little window for them to crawl in and get stuck. So yeah, I need to make sure that this time I write down how long the Opelia crab season lasts. Maybe one of you all will go in there and tell me how long the king crab season lasts in hours. Crabs in your spot? Uh, Phil, I'll be honest, it's okay. Thanks. No problem. I'm sure you'll come over here and dump lines as well, and then I'll have to fucking stab you. So we was finding more crab down there where we were at originally than we are now. It's funny how that works out. The ones that I took away is the ones we made a lot more money on. But it happens. I think this is a much better game plan, keeping everything together. Alright, so... Maybe I could speed it up just a tad, but I think we're right on track. Let's go ahead and bring this over just a tad. To get closer so Edgar can make the toss with the hook. You got it, Edgar? You got it? You got it? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. So excited for him right now. Oh my god, look at this. There's one there and then one out there. Is, is that ours that's wonky out there? Or is that somebody else that cut us off again? Who the fuck is fishing this close to us? Son of a bitch. No wonder my numbers are down because the area is over. Oh, so this actually tells you how many you caught. So yeah, we're in the 700s down here, and here we're in the 600s. And that's because people have fucking fished right on top of us. Assholes. They're lucky my hole is already full. Let's set it back. I'm still that's upset. Money. Yes, it is, Edgar. For your fucking 10%, we better make some cash. But, yeah, it looks like we're going to be close enough to this one. We will increase the speed just a tad. But, yeah, like, whoever did that double dip my lines. Oh, man, that, that, that pisses me off. Now I see why they get so mad about it on the show. So where is everybody fishing this time? I mean, you know, nobody's fishing right here. I, maybe I should have went there. Probably had to deal with some more ice, which... Looks like we got a little ice build up on our boat. Not a lot, though. Nothing to worry about. You look up here in the front. You know, there's just a little here on the sides. Alright, let's see what we got here. Nice little toss. Does he get... Yes! So yeah, this is clearly not ours. Can we see anybody else's out here? Yeah, because there's one. There's one. And there's probably another one out there. But yeah, somebody's fishing right on top of us. I don't know. We'll wait. I don't know yet. 
Oh my god. Let us get there for you all. We're still working on it. You all are a bunch of fucking liars. Fishing on top of me, you sons of bitches. I should steal their f crab. But I got penalized last season, so I don't want to get penalized this season. We might go to Dirty Tricks next season, gamers. But we're going to drop this one right here, and it's going to be right next to him. <laughs> I'm excited. We will have to go unload our load after this one, or we'll never get back through these other ones. And we're straightening these up in a nice little line so far. I don't know how many was on this string, but... 89% full, and we got, you know, I don't know how much we get per one, like 2%, so. We'll have to see. Looks like everybody's like just locked in, ready to go mode. They're still counting crab in, so we're at 90%, so I'm happy right now. And we'll get a few little bit more. So we'll definitely have to go dump this load off after this is over. So we'll probably set up here to St. Paul because there's only a weight line of one. I don't know why you'd go over here. Can you even fish down here? So I don't I don't see why you'd go to King Cove at all. It's like a terrible place to put on the game. Unless there's something over there like a, like a random season that you could take part in. Look how spaced out from this one here to this one. You know, even if we drop this right here, which we are, but still. Let's set it back. Cha ching, baby. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> That's all I gotta say about it. Woo! Yep, my crew's happy. It's because I put a TV inside. We got a nice little crab on the side of the boat. He's our mascot. We call him Frankie. Frankie the Crab. We should have called it Roxanne because that's where it come from. She got big ass crabs coming out of those panties. Alright, we'll speed up just a little. So see, yeah, uh, you can see the distance there. Bam, the bam, you know, equal distance, lots of distance. Then from here to there, it's like, oh, what happened? Okay, let's get back over here. So each pot takes me up. Let's see, now we're at ninety-three point two. So let's do some quick math. Oh, did you miss? Am I going to have to stop the boat? I'm going to have to stop the boat. I've got to stop the boat. You are terrible. I am trying to do math here, and you're not helping. So, 12, that's you 8. Want to try that approach again? Edgar missed the buoy bags. I saw that, Edgar. Well, at least he gave me a message that time. That That's something new. I have not seen that before. See if he can get it this time. It wasn't my fault, by the way, Edgar. You're throwing like a pansy. Let's try to bring it over. Did he get it? Oh, he did. Alright, let's stop here. If we went way off track, I mean, we're going to have to turn big time now. So yeah, we get about three, 2.8 per, so this one should take us up to 94, or 95, and then we have, we're probably going to go unload before we finish this, 
Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That's twelve percent. Yeah, that's gonna take us over. This is a good problem to have though. I mean when you're when you're overfilling your hole, that's nice. Kill, we're probably go gonna big or go home. We're probably gonna have to put you back on bait. Typical. Just because of Shut the fuck up, dude. Do your damn job. You're out here on a boat with a, like one snarly looking girl, so be happy with it. I mean jeez. I mean the biggest problem they have on these boats is they smoke the whole time. So let's see what we got here. Looks like we might be coming a little too close here, so... Let's push off some. Let's see if Edgar doesn't mess this up. Hey Edgar, here's your time to shine. You should have this. You've got it. He's got it. Now we're going to push back over this way, so maybe we can... Uh, Realign these. A little shift here. There we go. My nice straight lines. Yeah, 96.1 there. So that one didn't fill up as much as the other one, but we're still going to be cutting it close. And I think I'm just going to play my cards right. And like I said, I don't know the time of the season, which that does put me at a disadvantage. But I'm just going to leave this string out and leave these ones on my boat on my boat. I don't think I should drop them yet. Only 597. And the, they're happy about it, but it looks like the numbers, you know, I expect more. But again, these waters are being double fished right now, so I don't know what you can expect. All right, that looks pretty good lined up. So what do we got? Three, four, five more? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five more. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to do all of them. <clears throat> I'm actually fish them going back the other way. Once we go up here, what we'll do, we'll do a couple more. And then we'll go up here and unload. Then we'll come back and we'll hit them going this way. And then like, if it gives me a warning that it's almost time, we can hit Dutch Harbor. You know, I wish that. I still, like, I wish I knew. I wish there was, like, a guidebook in the cabin. Crab count. Our fleet total is not even. We're not even halfway there yet, so I don't think we're in trouble. Um, per se, right now. Let's uh, push over to the starboard side. Which is coincidentally the side that everybody falls off my boat. All right, that should be good enough for him. It should be good enough for him. We'll see. Of course, he throws it right there. It's like, really, the Edgar. There you go. Now, I wanted to push this over so we can... When we throw it back in, we're going to be over some. Alright. That should be okay. So, let's see what kind of beauties we get from this one. What kind of beauties... That would be the most dangerous part for me is when like Tico there reached over and unhooked it from way over here. It just seems like that would be dangerous. Set that bad jewel back. 
That's money. That is money. Look at this. Uh, we might not be able to get the next one. I mean, I'll just be on to honest. I go back to the deck. So I probably need to. What are we robots? Slave driver. I know. I'm gonna let. Apparently, he doesn't know that we can't hold anymore. Your tank is full. Oh, man, I'm not gonna store crab in my bunk. What do you think? There's a hole in this tank? We're full. Oh Jesus Christ! Really, guys? It's not full yet. You could put the rest of that in there, and then you'll get your break, assholes. Every one of you. Hey, right, he's getting ready to top off. One hundred percent. Damn. I wonder if they could put any more in there. Looks like it's going down. You know, you'd think they'd be excited that it was that way. But no, they, they complained. I mean, I don't know if you all noticed that or not. Alright, so we're going to go up here. Alright, guys, go take you a break. Y'all had to be tired right there at the end. So we didn't get the last three, and they're going to be soaking for a good amount of time. Let's get rid of that. So, Sea Star, son of a bitch. Let's head up here and unload. See, there he goes. He's going through there. I bet he just got mine. Alright, let's dock. And let's see what we need to do here. We're fine on fuel. Repairs. We'll do Can that. Okay if we step out? You know what? Yeah, take a short leave. I can't wait to go for a walk. Look at that. They got little Hawaiian shirts on. All right, let's sell our catch. Let's see if we make some money here. Let's see, I hope it's a lot. We need to make some good money here. Ooh, over 100 Gs. I like it. Will officially close in 24 hours. Oh shit, so we're unloading now, they're on shore leave, so we've got to go back, we've got 24 hours to get everything else picked up. Holy crap. So we'll have 24 hours or less to pick up the rest of our gear. Did that just stop me from selling crab? So we made some good money so far. Alright, so we made 238000 on that. Um, are y'all ready to go? Because what we've got to do now is we've got to head back out here and pick up these. And we should be able to head back home, but we've already made a lot of money. So, shit, I didn't get to see how much time was left. We was at 70-something hours. I don't know. I'll have to go back and look. And uh, hopefully we can see. We've got 18 hours to pick up all these. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think 12. So 12 and 18 hours plus travel time back. So hopefully I can knock it out. So gamers, I hope you enjoyed this episode of SKS Plays Deadliest Catch, Alaskan Storm. Join me next time to see if we can knock it out the rest of it. See you then. Good night.